Hi guys, Trick Kane here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Ginger Snaps, Screen Factory, and Ginger Snaps in general. The movie is about uh, the Fitzgerald sisters, Ginger and Bridget. Ginger being played by Catherine Isabel, Bridget by Emily Perkins, also in Stephen King's TV miniseries It. Um, I'm going to bounce around the story here. And also, if this is cringy or, you know, I'm fluttering, stuttering, jittery, first video. So, bear with me. Um, the sisters walk us through a park to get revenge on Chance and Claire, the school bully, especially toward the Fitzgerald sisters, Bridget and Ginger, especially Ginger, played by Catherine Isabel over jealousy basically because Ginger looks better than Trina does. Um, they're getting revenge on her because she has this dog, Rottweiler, and she likes to bring it to school, tease the sisters with it, and at some point Ginger kicks the mutt, and well, that begins a whole slew of things to go on with Trina and Ginger. But they're going to get revenge on Trina by taking blood and fake guts and what for from their little horror skits, gore skits, where they show themselves dead. That's in the beginning of the film. The introduction is the two sisters doing this little thing where they show different deaths. You know, you got uh, Ginger's impaled on fence. You got... Uh, Bridget is hung, and it's and it's just this garage. thing to do for school, just extra credit it. type thing. So they're going to use those to play a trick on Trina for revenge for being kind of a douche. So so Ginger gets attacked by a werewolf in this movie. They're known as lycanthropes. And the only other time they're known as lycanthropes, as far as I know, is in The Wolfman with Von Chaney Jr., the Universal movies, the original Universal, Black and Whites, you guys know them, Dracula, Bella Bossi, you know, Frankenstein, Boris Korloff. So, that's the only time I know that that's used to define a werewolf. It might have been done in the Howling. Go ahead and in the comments let me know if that is or is not so. Um, but they do this and Ginger gets attacked and she gets scratched, she gets bit in the side, things of that sort. And what caused her to get attacked is the fact she got the curse. If you watch this movie, you know what the curse means. It means it's her time, time of the month. So, yeah. Shit. Um, Ginger, when you know she starts changing and all that, you know, she starts going her little step of a tail. You know, her hair gets more fluted on her legs and everything. It's thicker, so she's got to use more cream, as you'll see in little scenes of the movie, things like that. But Ginger's first kill is Norman, a small little hockey kid, neighbor's dog, and all that. Um, the Fu Moon Cycle, which also is the menstruation cycle. So when she first it starts becoming a werewolf, lycanthrope. They don't realize it. At least Ginger don't realize it. Bridget's wise. But Ginger doesn't realize it because, you know, I just got my period. You know, so she thinks, you know, it's just a menstruation cycle, which coincides perfectly with the lunar cycle, also the full moon cycle. So... So she doesn't realize that. Um, 
see me in the guidance office. Pam, Pamela, played by Beanie Rogers. Hey, can we see the ones that Ginger again? took their mother, which is Pamela Fitzgerald. Uh, she starts, you know, catches on to things. Later on, you know, she starts catching on to some stuff. Because Trina, after they find the dog dead, and, you know, and Ginger gets attacked in the woods and everything, Trina can't find her dog, so she comes to Fitzgerald's house to confront Ginger and Bridget, specifically Ginger, because she don't like her anyway, like I said before. So she comes to her house, wants some business, you know. Ginger pushes her, I believe. I, that part I don't quite remember, but I think she gives her a little bit of a nudge. And she gets this glass and the carton of milk off the counter. And she ends up slipping on it and hitting the back of her head on the counter. And ends up killing her. So they have to take her, stick her in the freezer. And they're doing everything in the world's moon. And heaven and everything just to get Pam, their mom, from noticing something is up. So Bridget comes in with the camera and snaps a picture of Ginger on the floor, you know, just to make it look like doing an extra credit thing because they had just prior, probably a week before that, just did their little murder thing. So she makes it sound like extra credit. And later on, she starts to catch on to some things. This is more toward the middle of the end of the movie. I said I'd jump around. She finds Trina's fingers. They're doing lawn work. Pam and uh, Henry. Pam and Henry, Henry's father. She ends up finding Trina's fingers in the uh, garden that they're working on. So, she starts catching on some things. These fingers don't feel fake. They're feeling awful real to her, you know? The joints and everything. So she's starting to, you know, put two and two together about everything and starts catching on to stuff. But they, they try the silver because, you know, that's what you see in all the other movies. The Wolf Bam or, you know, American Werewolf in London and the Howling. And the old school movies like that with the universals and everything, silver takes care of werewolves. Not in this one. In this one, Ginger gets a belly piercing, which is one of the most painful scenes I've ever seen. One of them. I've seen several more, but this one almost takes the cake, man. This is a painful looking piercing. But they try the silver and it just doesn't work. And it's just, it is just one of those painful piercing scenes I've seen. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's just, it is definitely, you know, you just, you know, you just want to make a face at it, you know, it's just bad. But, also, it's like an infection. This, as I was saying, the silver doesn't work. It's like an infection, almost like an STD. You know, you pass it on, like, say, HIV or AIDS or, you know, HEP even. And, you know, I'm not sure if that's CD or not. But HEP, HEP C and all that, hepatitis, you move it on kind of like that through blood, through through sexual intercourse, things like that. You move it on through bodily fluids, like, a, like an STD. So, so, yeah, it's just, it's all all bad stuff yeah, so there there's only one cure for this and it's not even really a cure it's just kind of a substandard kind of like kind of like say uh, you got addiction to pain pills right and there's only two things that's going to help that is either more pain pills or you have something as in suboxone things like that I do believe the uh, off-brand name for is like Bufemarine or something like that. But it's called Aconitonin Lycotonin, cousin the Wolf's Bane. And according 
to Sam, played by Chris Lamps, it's safe in small doses. He plays kind of this Christian Slater, Heathers type thing. You know, he's got that, that stuff about him, the way he talks and everything. So, yeah. You know, I, I'm not the biggest Christian Slater, Christian Slater fan. You know, he's an alright actor. He's got his points. Interview with the vampire, I thought he was good in, so I'm not... I'm not down and I'm not bagging him for those of you that really like him. I'm just not the biggest fan of the guy. I think he overacts everything. I think that he just, you know, he just got something about him. Those of you that feel the way I feel, you know what I'm talking about. He's got something about him. But, toward the end of the movie here, we're going to talk about some things. The transformation scene in the van. It is so intense. If you haven't watched it, you gotta watch it. Because it's almost like the belly button piercing scene. It just looks pink. It's not like any other werewolf, lycanthrope, whichever one you want to call it, transformation scene I've ever seen. Like, it just looks like it hurts. It's almost like some 28 days later, with the blood coming out of the eyes and everything. It just looks pink. So, it's just things like that, you know, and I'm just going to throw a little fact in there about some things that, no, the werewolf was not amptronic, no, it was not CGI, it was a suit, and the way they hid this suit was through just a punch of Vaseline, they did that, they put extra hair on it, hide the zipper in the back, things like that, but it was a suit. I thought for a suit, it looked really, really good. So, and also, just another little fact, I'm not going to throw a big bunch of them in there. I'll do another video specifically on facts, so be waiting on that one. I'm going to get down, study a little more. This is just, you know, first video, just throw myself out there at you. But, little fact. Emily Perkins, Bridget Fitzgerald, shaved her head just before shooting this film. And so she had to wear a wig throughout the entire shoot because she had decided to go and shave her hair almost down like mine. So, yeah, she, I don't know why she did that, but, you know, that's just something she decided to do. But, yeah, this, this movie, it's got all kinds of features on it. I can't focus too great, but it's got all kinds of features on it. It's got some good artwork there. There's the, the artwork to it there. Then on the inside, you have the original theatrical poster artwork there. There's your two discs, two discs, Blu-ray DVD combo. So, thank you for watching. I am Drake Kane. You are watching Drake Kane's channel. 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 I'll see you next time.